Basically, I made this mower generator here because uh, the engine was free and uh, everything else was pretty cheap to make. And uh, being in ham and CB radio, I like to show that sometimes you don't need to have a whole lot of money to uh, do cool stuff uh, like this. I mean, I paid some money for the alternator from uh, the uh, auto parts store, uh, mainly because I wanted a warranty on it, but you don't have to buy it from a parts store. There are probably hundreds, if not thousands, of GM 3-wire and GM 1-wire alternators sitting around in a junkyard just waiting to be uh, bought. Now, as you can see right here, I got one of those uh, battery clamp to uh, cigarette lighter socket things you could buy at Harbor Freight. And I also got a uh, battery slash alternator tester from uh, Harbor Freight as well. Uh, it's a great indicator of voltage and it can tell you if your charging system is working or not. Alright, before I start up the uh, mower generator here with the alternator, I disconnect the negative lead of the alternator to the battery that I used for energizing the fields uh, because when you disconnect the negative lead it makes it easier to start and it makes it easier on the engine when it's cold starting so that there's not a big massive load on it. Alrighty, I'm going to fire it up and uh, we'll just... Uh, show how it works. Now when I fire it up you should see it jumped about 14 and a half, 14 and a half volts or so. And now we're going to attach the negative lead to the battery and energize the alternator field. As you can see, it's generating 14 and a half volts, so that battery is getting charged. And uh, depending on its state of discharge, it could be charging with upwards of 60 amps at 14 and a half volts. So it's a little bit less than 800 watts that's uh, charging the battery. And you got to understand, this can also be used to power CB and uh, AM uh, radio equipment too. All right. I'm going to uh, stop the engine and you're going to see the voltage drop to about 13 volts or so because uh, that's the voltage of a battery after it has just been uh, charged by our uh, alternator. I like this setup and uh, I think it's a perfect addition for any uh, man-made or uh, natural disaster that uh, might happen because uh, you could power 12 volt stuff from a, ba a gasoline power generator and uh, you can also charge batteries very quickly I might add but it's, this is just a great asset to have in case of a disaster I'm happy with the results and uh, I'll sure will be using this for some time now and the best part is this all cost under about seventy dollars